Would you like to know how to make a paper cutter like this or a survival tool to do anything? Well, there's two versions. The huge version. <laughs> Which is mine. And the small pocket version. Which is mine. All you do is you the take... The bigger it. one does more fast than the little one. You take two pieces of wood. But and it you can't take, be walnut. And you use a nail, see? And you make sure... You nail it in, and then the top, it just, it doesn't matter how far it goes through. If it doesn't go through, just do that if it was too hard. Make sure it's not all the way, if there's a space. Uh, yeah! See? There's yeah. a crack. And then open it. Um, and then you put a piece of paper in, like right here. I'm going to demonstrate. And you close it and then pull. I will show you how. Waiting for my thing. Oh, oh, thank you. So I'm using construction paper, which might be a little harder. It may not work as well. So see how I've been inserted it on top? You can make it a nail. You can make it a sign holder, or you can make it anything. This is we're using paper cutters. See, and, then you and you can make it to light fires. And then see, you fold this on top, so it's like clamping the paper. See, and then with your paper, you just pull it back. It's hard out, and you. And then, if the bigger one has a nail sticking out, you just nail it together. You have to have a big nail and it'll just go to the side. You made okay. your grass. It's grass. You can make grass. And it just looks like real grass. And they glue it on paper if you want. Because see how well, it's just really ragged. See, you use them for anything. I mean, here's my other piece of grass. But I would recommend using green paper. Cool, huh? So you should you make one of these anytime you need a survival tool. <laughs> they also are noise makers. <laughs> the pocket version is something you take on the go. Oh, I didn't mention it. If you have plants that are like poisonous, you go like this. Cut. Okay.